Welcome back fellow ocean lovers, today we are venturing into the watery world of creatures so bizarre that they seem like aliens wearing fancy scuba gear. Meet the sea spiders, an ancient leggy bunch that roams our oceans from tide pools to the icy depths of Antarctica. Strap in, this is going to be a wild journey into evolutionary wonders, alien anatomies, and family dramas worthy of a soap opera, but with more legs. First things first, what are these creatures? Well, sea spiders belong to the order Pycnogonida, a group of over 1,300 known species. They're marine arthropods related to chelicerates, meaning they share ancestry with spiders, scorpions, and horseshoe crabs. But let's clarify, they are not true spiders. In fact, if a garden spider and a crab had a distant eccentric cousin who decided to go live underwater and grow its guts into its legs, you'd get a sea spider. While their name and spindly legs evoke images of web-spinning arachnids, sea spiders don't spin webs, nor do they do your laundry or scare off houseflies. But they do have a unique and ancient lineage, dating back hundreds of millions of years. Fossil records suggest their ancestors appeared long before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Talk about old school. Sea spiders are true global citizens, found in virtually every ocean and sea. Picture them as the backpackers of the marine world. They visited more places than your favorite travel blogger has, and they inhabit shallow sunlit reefs, teeming with color and life, as well as lightless, frigid depths where pressures are crushing and temperatures hover just above freezing. Tiny species, some less than a millimeter long, live in tide pools, blending seamlessly with grains of sand. They're practically invisible house guests. On the opposite end, the Antarctic giant sea spider can have legs spanning up to 70 centimeters or over two feet across. Scientists believe this polar gigantism may be related to the cold oxygen-rich waters allowing them to grow larger, slower metabolisms and reduced predation pressures. In simpler terms, it's kind of like living in an all-you-can-eat buffet with very few bullies around. Now, how do these creatures dine? Well, sea spiders don't have fang-filled mouths, instead they come equipped with a slender proboscis, kind of like a built-in straw. The smaller species feast on microscopic organisms and detritus, essentially slurping the protein shake of the ocean. Meanwhile, the larger Antarctic species will poke their proboscis into jellyfish, hydroids, or soft corals, savoring a slow-motion slurp. It's not exactly fine dining, but it works. Some sea spiders act like sneaky dinner guests, dipping into sea anemones for a sip of bodily fluids without killing their hosts. Think of it as grabbing a quick milkshake from the neighbor's fridge and then strolling off. Rude, but efficient. And yes, the neighbors, the anemones, often survive this uninvited tasting session. Let's talk anatomy, because sea spiders play by their own rulebook. Their body is mostly legs, spindly, jointed limbs that contain not only muscle and circulation, but also much of their digestive system and even their gonads. Imagine if your intestines and your <clears throat> reproductive parts ended up in your arms and legs. That's the architectural marvel we're dealing with here. It's as if evolution took a long look at a standard arthropod and said, you know what, let's put everything in the legs. But that's not all. Sea spiders have no dedicated respiratory organs, no lungs, no gills. They absorb oxygen directly through their exoskeleton. To distribute oxygen, they rely on the rhythmic contractions of their guts to pump fluid around, effectively using their digestive tract like a heart and lung combo. This unique approach to breathing is unlike anything else we know in the animal kingdom. It's as if a plumbing diagram got mixed up with a circulatory blueprint and the creatures just rolled with it. Sea spider family life is equally quirky. While many marine creatures release eggs and call it a day, male sea spiders take on the super dad role. After external fertilization, the females deposit eggs and the males gather them onto specialized limbs called ovigers. Picture them as built-in strollers. The dads carry these eggs around like proud parents showing their newborns off at the park. As the eggs hatch, the larvae emerge into a variety of life strategies. Some larvae float freely, drifting with the currents as they grow into adults. Others take on a more sinister approach. They become parasites, latching onto hosts like clams or polyps. They'll hang out, feed, and grow until they're ready to graduate into a proper sea spider juvenile, like teenagers squatting in someone else's basement until they get their own place. One type of larva even clings to the father's legs until it matures a bit. Talk about a family that sticks together. 
The evolutionary story of sea spiders is a long and mysterious one. Fossilized remains from hundreds of millions of years ago reveal that their basic body plan hasn't changed all that much, suggesting a blueprint that's worked brilliantly across vast spans of time. They've survived mass extinctions, continental shifts, and countless changes in sea levels and temperature. While many ancient lineages disappeared, sea spiders persevered, quietly adapting and thriving. Today, scientists still debate certain aspects of their evolution. Are they a primitive offshoot of early chelicerates, or did they branch off from a more modern lineage? Research using genetic tools and new fossil discoveries is helping piece together this ancient puzzle, showing just how resilient and unique these creatures are. Sea spiders might look like solitary weirdos, but they play subtle roles in their ecosystems. By feeding on sponges, hydroids, and other sessile organisms, they help control those populations, indirectly influencing reef dynamics, and in turn they become prey for fish, crustaceans, and maybe even larger predators. Remember, small species can be an easy meal, while the bigger ones might pose to be a more challenging snack. Sea spiders can also be indicators of environmental health. Changes in their population sizes or distributions might signal shifts in ocean temperature, acidity, or pollutant levels. Because they're widespread and sensitive to environmental conditions, scientists can use them like eight-legged canaries in the coal mine, alerting us to subtle changes beneath the waves. Despite their ancient lineage, new sea spider species keep popping up as we explore deeper and more remote environments. Deep sea submersibles, improved sampling techniques, and modern genetic analysis have uncovered species with unique adaptations, some living near hydrothermal vents, slurping nutrients in harsh, chemical-laden environments where few can survive. Researchers are also studying how climate change might affect sea spiders. Will warming waters shrink their size or alter their distributions? Will ocean acidification impact their ability to build and maintain their exoskeletons? Only time and more research will tell. For a group that once seemed obscure and understudied, sea spiders are now stepping into the scientific spotlight, offering a wealth of knowledge about adaptation, survival, and marine biodiversity. With well over a thousand species spread across the globe, conservation efforts for sea spiders aren't straightforward. Some species might be abundant and stable, while others could be at risk due to habitat destruction, pollution, or warming seas. As the climate crisis intensifies, protecting marine ecosystems becomes even more critical. Safeguarding coral reefs, managing fisheries sustainably, and reducing plastic pollution all indirectly help preserve the delicate habitat sea spiders call home. It's a reminder that even the most unfamiliar creatures are part of a grand tapestry of life. By ensuring healthy oceans, we're not only protecting adorable clownfish and majestic whales, but also the leggy oddities like sea spiders, creatures that challenge our understanding of what life truly can be. So there you have it. Sea spiders are bizarre, ancient, leg-centric marvels that push the boundaries of biology. From their global distribution and bizarre internal plumbing to their odd parenting habits and evolutionary resilience, they prove that life in the ocean is endlessly inventive. They might not spin webs or star in horror movies, but they deserve a spotlight for their unique adaptations and quiet contributions to marine ecosystems. If you enjoyed this deep dive into all things sea spiders, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more underwater adventures. Together, we'll keep exploring all things marine life and unveiling the secrets of the creatures who call the ocean home, eight-legged or other kinds of creatures.